goes again. The result the same. One bounce over the rope this time. 16 off the over. Sri Lanka get a move on. 38 for one. And Jaya Surya goes over the top. One bounce for four. Sanat Jaya Surya is not going to hang around when the ball is in the hitting zone. And that was exactly in the slot for him. And he's done all the hard work. And now it's the time for Jaya Surya to start rewarding. And he's being rewarded with some uh, boundaries. Far more maturity and enthusiasm you could see in Jaya Surya. It took um, a little bit of time. There was a time when I got the feeling that uh, cricket was getting to be rather monotonous for him. And uh, he seems to be now back in uh, sort of his full flow. And again he goes over the top, just over the top. Down to the mid cricket boundary. Jaya Surya making his intentions very clear. Sri Lanka 50 up in the 15th over with uh, Jaya Surya going after Hossein. A wonderful shot by Jaya Surya, just bludgeoned into that. You could see that uh, he can be a real thorn when he's, at, he's on full flow on song. This time might be a couple, in fact very well fielded on the boundary. We just uh, restrict the scoring down to a couple and I wonder whether the third umpire would want to go to the third umpire and Chayasura just looking for the boundaries and uh, without it I'm sure he does get a little frustrated but brilliant feeling once again pulling it back just on the nick of time Great catch by Malik Masood. Great catch. And a very, very crucial wicket for Bangladesh. Kumara Sangrakar, the man in form, goes. Well, uh, Kumara Sangrakar did not even bother to look up at the empire. The moment he hit that, uh, that was an appeal and he just walked back to the pavilion. That is a really smart catch. Stunning catch. Keeping up to the wicket and going down the left side. That is an extraordinary catch from Khalid Bashir, the vice captain. Picks up his second part, the vice captain from Sri Lanka. Kumara Sangakara goes back to the pavilion. 72 for 2. The next batsman in the skipper himself, Mahela Jayawadana. Come on. Oh. A good piece of feeling. Uh, just pushing it to the point, and uh, Mahbubur Rahman has pointed out uh, to the third umpire about time. And I think they were comfortably. You can tell by the reaction of a batsman, but you never know. And you can uh, tell by the reaction of the wicket keeper, wicket keeper as well. It's very quick. Uh, low Kapali or Aftab. There we go. Direction would have been a different ball game altogether. And he's comfortably home. We're still waiting for the decision. Not out. Rightly so. He was comfortably home, the skipper. There was a nick. That's uh, four runs. Inside edge. Doesn't matter how they come, as long as they come, from a batsman point of view, Atha. Yep, uh, the batsman would feel happy about it, but I think the bowler uh, thought, Nazmul thought that he might, might have had his man and uh, could have easily chopped it onto the stumps uh, inside edge. Not a convincing stroke, but hey, that's a four. There you go. Could have easily gone even in, into the hands of uh, Khalid Mashud who was standing up. Lucky one uh, from Sanaj Jaisal. Unlucky for Nazmul Hussain. Let's have a look what bowlers think. Obviously disappointed. Oh, he knew he was unlucky there. That's his 50. Very well played uh, from a seasoned campaigner. Uh, hats off to him in his 356th uh, one day international as well. Great player. 60th ODI 50 for Sanaj Surya. 
and he didn't he really had to work hard for that 50 today with the new ball he was juggling a bit going everywhere he was taking his time he was leaving the new ball and that shows how experienced he is delivery He's a beautiful player, Mahila Jayawardena. Very risky, very comfortable, very easy, brilliant to watch. Yeah, it is interesting to note that he was off colour. That's Sanat Jayasuriya, 50 of 61, with seven boundaries, a strike rate of 81. He has that strike rate up in that uh, averages in that 70 to 80 in a, on, uh, in a regular basis. We're talking about another quick single. He's got a very, very important bit of the Bangladesh. Great comeback by Bangladesh side. Again, Rafiq was the bowler. The experience worked there. And Sri Lankan spinner, the skipper goes. And that was a nice, comfortable catch. But again, the game is on. What a breakthrough from uh, Mohammed Rafiq. Uh, picks up uh, the captain of uh, Sri Lanka, Mahila Jawad. And just about when I was uh, talking about his batting exploits in Australia. Strike to sweep, straightforward catch. That is a big, big wicket uh, for Rafiq and Bangladesh. He goes back to the pavilion for five. It's uh, 87 for three. New batsman in, Kapu Gadera. A young, experienced, uh, a young player for Bangladesh from Sri Lankan side. Just lost the wicket of skipper. The third wicket, now Sri Lanka 87 for three. Just a single to complete the over. Sri Lanka 99 for 3, 100 for 3. And that's forced the attacking shot. And uh, I think that will be a boundary. That loss from the crowd for the moment, but I believe when the ball touched the hand, there was some part of the body touching the boundary rope as well. This was Rafik. Have a look here. It's already touching the rope, is it? Might just be in the air as well, the legs. What do you reckon, Ranjit? That's really touch and go. One really needs a much, much closer look. But I think Rafik's done exceedingly well. For a man of his age, he's um, run across that rope. Yes, yes, yeah, I think he's touched the rope. That will be a boundary. Watch him. Um, it's a good effort. Now it's touching. Rope, there might have been some contact anyway. The third umpire will have to make the judgment. I reckon that's a boundary. At least boundary. Hopefully, Rama boundary and his boundary. animated on that walkie-talkie is not happy. Oh, finally declares boundary. He wanted to know quickly. Ah! A loud shot. The finger has gone up. Kapu Gadera is not happy. But it was a confident shout from uh, Khaled Masood. An important breakthrough here for Bangladesh. They keep chipping away at the wickets. Yes, that really wasn't a ball that was meant to be cut. It was far closer to the batsman. It was more of a drivable length and uh, there was more bounce. Oh yes, there was an edge. And a good catch indeed. There was deflection and a good catch by the wicketkeeper who is Khalid Mashud. He's having a good game. Kapu Gedera goes for 13, fought by Mashud of Kapali, and Sri Lanka lose their fourth wicket for 1-1-6. Dilshan has come out to the middle. 
Last man to be dismissed, uh, Kapu Gedera. No Kapali getting the man. Smart catch here by Khalid Masood. Third of the innings. Uh, Bangladesh is back in game. Excellent. Indeed, a big wicket. Dilakar Nadir Shah is always a big wicket. Saraja Surya will have to do a lot of work here to get Sri Lanka out of the hole they're in at the moment. 122 for 5. Alok Kapali has struck for the second time. He did medal it, went straight to him, Alok Kapali, and who's one of the best fielders in Bangladesh, Shai. And he's excited that he has every reason to be. Talakatne Hassan Dilshan goes for three. Sri Lanka struggling. 122 for five. Hassan Fernando comes out with a huge responsibility on his shoulders. He will have to support Sanat Jayasuri initially. Settle in. Sri Lanka need a bit, are in a big hole at the moment. They need to climb out of this. They need to get a competitive score. And Alok Kapali has been the man who struck twice for Bangladesh at the moment. He's got rid of two dangerous batsmen. Yeah! And uh, there was a quicker delivery, a bit of googly in it as well. Came back into a right-hander. And this is the wicket. Dilshan, not middling it, went straight to Anur Kapali and who was over the moon. He knew how important oh, that wicket was. Hard ball. And 33 overs gone, Sri Lanka 122 for 5. Oh, and struck on the pad, it's given. So the sixth wicket is down, Asanta Fernando is gone. Sri Lanka sinks deep into trouble, 132 for 6. That's what exactly I was talking about. Under pressure, a new face, a young face, inexperience. And after I've got the ball swinging a bit, that came back in, the front foot wasn't there. And it was right in front of three stumps that you can see there. One of the trees pitched outside off and bang. Absolutely out. It was hitting metal, it was going nowhere and Alaftab knew it. Wow, what a crucial wicket for Bangladesh. Sri Lanka struggling. 36 over gone, 132 for six. It's Fabi's Maharoof. It's the new batsman. And Jaya Surya. Very well fielded on the boundary. Brilliant cricket. They're coming back for the second. And the return is good. They haven't gone to the third umpire though. Jaya Surya ran that last bit quite fast. Excellent cricket on the part of the Bangladeshi fieldsman. Definitely spring in their step, no doubt. The second one was quicker one. This one went to square to square leg, but firmly hit. And great stop. And I think he was comfortably home. Yes, he was. Ooh, could have been close. The bat was in the air. Let's have a look again. Let's have a bat in the air. Still home. He was in. This is the bowling card so far. Murtaza, 6 over for 10. Two wickets for Russell who bowled the 10 overs. And Kapali and Ahmed, they bowled after. They bowled quite well. 5 for 19, two wickets. And Ahmed, 5 15, one wicket. Going well for Bangladesh. Wicket delivery, short delivery. And that's going to go for the max. The first six of this innings. The first boundary from last 10 overs. So this was a bad delivery, poor delivery. And treated perfectly the way it should be. Very, very short indeed from Kapali and Maharuf needed no second invitation. Absolute confidence booster to get a short ball and smack it over six, over mid wicket for six. No, 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 no. Better delivery, but good running, excellent running. The return a little bit wide. But Maharuf uh, running through quite quickly, and Jaya Surya has done a lot of work, but he's still able to run that uh, singles quickly. Would have been close if he hit direct hit because Maruf was slightly slow to start off. And yes, that could have been very, very close. 
And this is over the top of extra cover. That's a good shot by Jayasurya. And that's gone all the way. That's gone for four. That is an excellent shot. Giving himself a little bit of room. And just a perfect shot over extra cover. That was the only gap to, towards off some And uh, he picked, picked it up perfectly. Give himself a little bit from room. Not, not much. Not much. Just there. And bam. There he goes. A very safe shot in one day for it. Goes for the big one and he's cleared the boundary. Took a chance with the first ball of Rafik's over. <laughs> it was deep mid wicket, but he struck that well. Yes, he did take a chance, as you would see. There was a man down on the line there, and uh, Jayasur he really was taking the challenge on and hit it right over, marginally though, but all the same, he managed to get it over. Misjudged the length. Straight delivery. Missed it all together. That's as plum as you can get. And what a wicket for Bangladesh at this stage. It really is a big, big wicket. And you could see that from the reaction of the crowd. They sense that they've really got the man they wanted. Jasuri probably getting a little too weary and uh, getting a little too ambitious looking for that hundred rather quickly that was plump really didn't get up too much bended knee hitting around the thigh but all the same was going to hit the stumps Amba Hadir and having no hesitation what a fine innings this has been from Jaya Surya four short of its hundred Sri Lanka seven down to 168 Experience doesn't always overtake spontaneity. When money is no object, old friends become new enemies. The big boys are back. Formula One, coming soon to Star Sports. Deva Kufia. Ya phir kismat ka saath. Ya phir kala ka jadu. ESPN ka apna gold chart dekhiye. Golds me, Sir ESPN Park. Golds is brought to you by Nokia and Malaysia Airlines going beyond expectations. Well, there's a pass around this uh, Shahid uh, Chandu Stadium. Full house. They sense the home team has a good chance here as Walinga Pantara comes out to the middle. Nine overs remaining. He's no mug with the bat. In Bangladesh going for the kill. Murtaza being introduced into the attack. sense of anticipation around the ground now that Jair Suri has been dismissed I think picking up the wrong length wasn't all that short for the pull uh, to be attempted direct hit is what is required the third umpire has been uh, called in here into play it's going to be touch and go. We've seen so many times in the past. A direct hit can make the difference. Is it certainly something which you don't see to, to the naked eye? That might be close, but I think Bandara has made his ground. Bandara just just getting in. <laughs> Chipped in the air, past that man at short line. Welcome boundary here for the Sri Lankans. The Sri Lanka would want to muster as many runs as possible. Again, a little bit of a bounce, but just wide of the man. 
not carrying two. So Malinga Bandar would take that. All these boundaries would uh, add up to the total. That's up in the air and should be taken. Yes. Captain making no mistake. He had to run back, but he kept his eyes on the ball. Once again, it was Marwolf looking to clear mid-wicket, getting it high on the back. That was gap at mid-wicket, drawing Marwolf's attention once again. He looked to go in that direction once again, but uh, what far too much elevation. Hitting it well in the air, but a very good catch in the end by Habibul Basha. Running behind, but look at the balance he's maintained and uh, finally getting under it. Keeping his eyes on the ball, a bit of a thud, but in the end, holding on to a very good catch. Maru, a fighting innings of 21, Sri Lanka, 8 down for 187. Villara Fernando comes out to the middle, 3 overs still to go. Rafik continuing, the batsman crossing over when that catch was being taken. Bandara, a lot rests on his shoulders. He'll have to bat at the bottom or the tail, and that was uh, the reason Dilhara Fernando is here. Abu Basha, the captain, clinging on to a very, very good catch that of Maruf. Oh! in the air, man coming around in the deep, cannot get hold of it, it's gone right through his hands, and I reckon bounced just before the rope, he won't have a clue, that is Javed Omar Pelin, have a look at this, the opportunity was there to take the catch, Gone right through Bellum. And they have just bounced inside the rope. This will give us a clear idea. Yes. Boundary. A rather disappointing effort by uh, Bellum down on the line. Particularly as a wicket at this stage uh, would have put added pressure on the Sri Lankans. Second, uh, good work by Khalid Masood once again, the wicket keeper collecting the throw in front of the stumps, whipping off the bales. This is going to be touch and go once again. Well, certainly a very good effort by uh, the wicket keeper Khalid Masood. Never easy to take, particularly when it's uh, bouncing right in front of you. Russell's uh, throw really short. Malinga Pandara just striving to get to his crease. Just look at this take. Excellent take. And that must be touch and go. Oh, well, the bail's off. Oh. He's out, I think. Yes, there you are. The bails are off. And uh, a very, very good bit of wicket keeping by Khalid Mashud. He's had an outstanding match today. Not an easy take at all, but uh, good presence of mind. He's uh, whipped the bales off. You see the bales in the air there. That's out. Red. Nine down, Sri Lanka. It's 195 for nine. See the uh, Sri Lankans are looking for the second run, Malika Bandara challenging the throw, but um, the take from uh, the keeper Mashud undoing his effort. Malinga Bandara, he goes, run out for 18, Sri Lanka 9 down to 196. 
Richard Ferreira is a new batsman. He's got his own mind, knows what he's up uh, to do, and never overawed by situations. Oh, that's uh, gone like a rocket to the boundary. Good reflexes by Empire Hariharan to touch just in the nick of time. You can see a sly grin there. The ball was smashed back at him. Yes, he did. The ball was taken. Empire Hariharan apart. He did well to get out of the way, and the ball just speeding through the boundary. He certainly could top the ball. Dilhara Fernando. 13 runs coming off this over. And more. In fact, uh, he will hold out. Nicely taken this time. Mohan Ashraf on the catcher. So the Sri Lankan innings coming to an end of the final ball. 212 all out from their 49 overs. Remember, this is a 49 over game. It's been a good effort by Bangladesh to restrict Sri Lanka to that slow, slower delivery. And the Fernando not quite getting hold of it. That shot was coming from Lilara Fernando. It was a slow delivery, but well judged on that long of boundary in the end by Mohamed Ashrapul. Lilara Fernando, 13 very valuable runs. Sri Lanka all out for 212. A well paced out innings despite not enough runs. So 49 overs, 212 the target for Bangladesh will be 213 when they come out of a break. Uh, not too long to go, 126 local time is when play will start. And this is uh, how the Sri Lankan innings went. It was sustained uh, thanks to uh, Jay Surya. Very good innings of 96. He concentrated hard on a wicket that got slower and slower as the game progressed. A useful hand in the end uh, from uh, the lower, lower order. Maruf 21, Mandara 18 and Fernando chipping in with 13. One cannot be over complimentary of the Bangladeshi bowling. They bowl to a plan. Every member of the attack uh, doing his part and uh, as you would see everyone rewarded but uh, one might imagine that uh, Russell really uh, set the pace 2 for 28 in his 10 and all the others making contributions. Javed Umar Belin, 29 years old, right arm batsman. Javed Omar back in the side, the target for Bangladesh here, 213. So Shaz, what should be the approach by Bangladesh batsman? Should they see off the new ball or should they go for the shots? But it's your opinion, is the right choice to make here? I think it's not going to be that easy. This is a competitive score from Sri Lanka. But uh, I would imagine the last thing they want is to lose early wickets. If they lose early wickets, then that will allow Sri Lanka to uh, put the pressure on Bangladesh. I think the ideal way would be to uh, play normal cricket initially. At least for the first uh, five or six overs and then take it from there. They've given themselves a good chance to compete here, Bangladesh. Hi, I'm Sharia Nafis, 20 years of age, left and back. That's him there, good combination, left hand and right hand. Let's see what's up, what sort of approach they have in their mind. Target is 213 to win. Sri Lanka scored 2-1-2 two two, all out in 49 overs. Great effort by Bangladeshi bowlers. I mean, they did well. Then a big partnership going. And here we go. Ruchera Pereira is the man. He's going to bowl his first ball. Previous game, he backed the man of the match. Yes, they'll come hard to Sri Lankans. They realize that uh, 
they're not defending a big score, they can uh, pick up a couple of early wickets. It'll be handy. Ruchira Pereira this morning having a chat with uh, the master. And what were you telling him as there? I think he came up to me, wanted to know how to bowl <coughs> the out swing and basically the wrist action. So I was just explaining him that he has to come close to the wicket for an in-swinger or may wide of the crease, go wide of the crease for the out-swinger. And just telling him about his... He's trying it a bit there, but again, it'll take some time. I've told him to anything, it will take some time, but at least three to four months. And again, I think he's a quick learner. He wants to learn, and he shows that he's confident he came up to me or whoever he goes to. So that's what I've tried to explain to. He said, I have a trouble getting onto the danger area. I said, as long as you come in and you go more sideways, and you automatically pivot outside. Sure, Tom Moody would have learned a bit of left arm over the wicket bowling as well. of the Bangladesh innings. This was nicely played between the mid wicket and Madon. Hit firmly and a safe shot too. It was a fuller delivery. There we go. He's very, very strong there and there was no chance uh, Fielder and Madon to stop it. That's a great shot for runs, close, but it's going to go all the way. It's a dream start for Bangladesh. Another boundary. And the good thing with that shot was uh, there were no half measures. Dilshan got a hand to it, but... Nafiz here has uh, flashed and flashed hard. He's a brilliant fielder, and that's a brilliant effort. Not good enough. That's four. Every time the batsmen have been given width, they put it away. It's all happening here. Bangladesh ready for no loss. Not the same. This is an even better shot. Nice strike forward from uh, Nafiz. Second boundary of the over, and the crowd now getting into the act. Cool atmosphere on the ground. That, well, that was a good delivery shot of a length, but he played it on the up. And what a shot! And crowd is enjoying every minute of it. And they know they have a chance to win this one. And this is a perfect start. Good foundation for Bangladesh chase two two hundred plus. And Benham for the offside this time. Third boundary for it. And really, you can hear the crowd going berserk here because they sense the home team has a definite chance here. Wow, Javed Omar Benham is on attacking mode, and that was one of his best shots on the up. It wasn't a bad delivery on the up, and yes, there we go. That's what exactly I was talking about early on as a bonus point of view. He's on a front foot in a big way, bouncer. But as long as the boundaries come, that matters to Bangladesh, and Karau is loving it. That's gone through again. It's a quick outfield, second boundary of the over. So the boundary is coming thick and fast in this uh, Bangladesh innings. Really, I'm surprised, Wasim. I heard you say a couple of times, short ball not being tried. I mean, this sort of wicket, if as a bowler you start showing him, you're going to try bouncer. And there was again right in the slot. There was a fielder there, but both didn't have any chance to get that one on. And Jarvid uh, Umar Pellam is really enjoying it and uh, the whole stadium as well. Now Ruchira Pereira trying something different, coming around the wicket. And that's out! That's 
again a no ball, a no ball. So Xavi and Afis lives to fight another day. Luck definitely running Bangladesh's way, no doubt about the brilliant delivery and an equally good catch. Well, uh, if you know a ball and no ball, you give a position a, a run. But if you pick up a wicket, that's when it hurts more. That's the second one, even a bigger one this time around from Delara Fernando. And uh, what a miss. Beautiful delivery. Super catch to his left. Uh, Kumar Sankara thought, yeah, I got my man, but uh, just had to go back and see it. Tampa had his hand out. He's bowled two no balls in a trot now. Shot. That is rubbing salt in the room. You get caught over no ball and you hit the next one for four. And that was so beautifully timed by Shari and Hafiz looking absolutely good in fine touch. Nothing wrong, wrong in that shot. Uh, the one, the previous one, he nicked it to the keeper of the no ball. The next one, off the back foot, bang. All the way to the boundary. Very strong of the square of the wicket, uh, Sharia Nafis. He's played some delightful strokes. He's mashed uh, Javed Dema for stroke for stroke. Off the back foot, beautiful head position. And again, but this time straight to the Finchman. Shah Surya now running up to have a word with Dilhara Fernando. There's no doubt that uh, the Sri Lankans are feeling the pressure. Fernando has bowled two no balls, two short deliveries. One being punched for four, the other one straight to the fields between the covers. And Bangladesh maintaining an excellent rate. And Nafis has made 17 already of just 21 balls. Is it four fours? That's better. That is better. Fernando is confident, so is the keeper. And that is a belated decision. That's interesting to look at. Alpha Hariharan was took his time over that decision and finally sent Sharia Nafis on his way. It's interesting to look at the slow motion. But uh, Sri Lanka have got their first wicket. Well, there was a loud shout, but uh, Alpha took a lot, long time to make sure that he gave that one. Oh, it looks like to me that it just moved away. But there was an appeal, stifle appeal, and appeal backed up by Dilara Fernando. But not a big one. There he goes again. And after a while, Tampa thought, yes, you're out. Shaya Nafiz uh, might find himself a little bit unlucky. Looking good for 17, Bangladesh 38 for 1. Airtel ka naya lifetime prepaid of Rahul Mobile Zindagi Bhar In association with Onida, nothing but the truth Hi, I am Aftab Ahmed, 21 years old, right hand batsman, right hand bowler Another very talented batsman uh, to come into play now, Aftab Ahmed. Here's one. This is straight to the field. Yeah. Again, very, very average shot. Sri Lankan are back in the game from the brink of losing this game. They really, really worked hard. Got two crucial wickets and the main batsman, Ashraful, goes down. And he knows the whole stadium is pin drop silent. I really can't understand that shot. I really, really cannot accept the fact that after Habibul Basha playing that and getting out in the previous over, Mohammad Ashraful, who said and he knows that he needed to be in the game till the end, trying to hit a big one and not timing it well and straight to the hands of Bandara. What a wicket for Bangladesh. And losing that one, rather wicket for Sri Lanka. Sri Lanka back in the game, Bangladesh 155 for 5. Hi, Alok Kapali, age 22, right arm wrestler, right arm leg spinner. Alok Kapali, the new batsman. A lot of responsibility, he is in form, he played well the other day. 
Africa delivery. Nicely played, nicely played. That's going to go all the way. The fielder behind it, Mubarak is going to stop it. Yes, he did. They're going to come, they're coming back for three. He's struggling a bit. It's really all happening there. <laughs> it's funny, but it's very, very exciting. Cheeky shot uh, from Aftab Ahmed. Really cheeky stuff on the stunts and making room and cut, cutting it fine out. Running was good, the first one was very good. The second one he just relaxed a bit, that's why he struggled for the third one. And that's a super shot. That is an absolutely stunning shot from Alok Kapani to finish the over with a beautiful boundary. Crowd on its feet. 175 for 5. shot not a boundary he knew exactly where the gap was and a lovely cricketing shot from Alok Kapali Bangladesh get closer that's in the air has it gone the distance what a shot six runs to Aftab Abad. And the 200 comes up for Bangladesh. That merely confirms, Ravi, that Bangladesh are on the ascendancy. That was just picked up and hit over the top. So beautifully timed. And just that just went for maximum. And he goes again this time doesn't get the outside edge just got to keep their cool it's there it's there he's telling himself that's a lovely strike just went through with it got the elevation and got the distance as well just 13 required Straight away, that could be more runs, a boundary. This is turning out to be a terrific over for Bangladesh. Already 14 runs of it. They've started dancing in the aisles now. 51 from 41, this partnership. Both came together with Bangladesh in just a spot of border. Fernando continuing it's in the air straight to bit off Sri Lanka get the wicket so this match still not over Kapali unable to keep that one down he's played well and with just seven required Bangladesh lose their sixth wicket what an important wicket for Sri Lanka. Alok Kapali trying to drive on the up and just uh, heading it straight to the mid-off fielder. Straightforward dismissal, soft one. But I think Alok Kapali had done his uh, bit. Bangladesh 2 and 6 for 6. Hi, I'm Khaled Masood, S30, wicket keeper right hand batsman. So Bangladesh's most experienced player comes out to the middle. He's played over a hundred matches. And just the right kind of player you want in a situation like this. Seven to get. Driven through the offside. He's on fire after Ahmed. He punches the air. They're getting close. And finally Dave Watford jumps out of that seat. It's tied the scores. Bangladesh cannot lose. What a shot uh, from Aftab Ahmad. One would feel that he would finish it off in style. And take a look at that shot. Outside the off stump, full face of the back into the gap. And races over to the boundary like a bullet. Just look at him. Punches it in the air. He knows it, that he's achieved it. One ball to go in this over. He gets it through, yes! A famous win here for Bangladesh. 
They've beaten Sri Lanka by four wickets. And that's the first time ever that Bangladesh has beaten Sri Lanka in a one-day international. Bangladesh makes history and makes history at Bodhya, so it's Chandu Stadium. New venue, a new win. A good start for the season, Bangladesh. Would be playing a lot of games in the season. Mahila Jawadan not really happy having a jet, but it's all over. Bangladesh has beaten Sri Lanka by six wickets. And what a match this has been. Once again, Aftab Ahmed in the middle for Bangladesh. He was there when they beat Australia, and he was there, he's still there when they beat Sri Lanka. And, uh, you can see the way Javed Omar Bellin ran out there. I've never seen him run quicker than that, even between the wickets. He's never been that quick. He was off in a flash to get that stump. He played a smart though early on, batted well in getting 40. But Aftab Ahmad to me is the real hero. Under pressure, he's pulled it off for Bangladesh. John Moody, the Sri Lankans can only reflect at this stage. While as uh, the party has started here in Bogra, not only in Bogra, I would imagine Atta all over Bangladesh at the moment. Yeah, millions here, millions all over the world would be cherishing this moment, historical moment. First history was made when this when he was selected as international venue for test matches at ODI, and the icing on the cake, a win. What a way to repeat that! If they can repeat it again in the next game. Hats off to that, but I think they have played a great part. That's Javed Umar's Belen's wife, his brother at the back, full family around here. He, he made a good impact on the game as well. 40 odd runs, quick one, good partnership. Great way to win this game. Great stuff. Yes, they'll be very happy. One would only hope that they improve from here on and uh, get a little more consistent. Full marks to the home side. They deserve this win. They played total cricket today, right from the outset when they won the toss and decided to field first. They bowled in the right areas. They were backed up by good fielding. And then once they restricted Sri Lanka to 212, they came out and uh, did a real professional job in the chase. So a tremendous performance here. This series is now level at one match each. First match to Sri Lanka, the second one uh, to Bangladesh. 212 the target, the reach there making 213 for six. 51 uh, from Ashrafol played really well. Bellum played well at the top in making 40. But uh, it was Aftab Ahmad who played uh, a very, very good innings under pressure. 32 of just 21 balls. Sri Lankan bowling, they tried hard, but uh, what they needed was uh, wickets at regular intervals. They kept uh, Bangladesh quiet in the first 15 overs, but after that, uh, once Ashrafull got going, then the run started coming a lot easier. Two wickets for Fernando, one for Bandara. He got the ball to spin, was unlucky not to have picked up uh, more than just the one wicket, and uh, one wicket for Hasanta and Sanajay Surya. So a terrific performance by Bangladesh. We'll take a short break but leave you with Bangladesh finishing things off here in Bumrah.